In this video, we will be discussing how to make and apply the above knee back slab. Before we begin, we'll have to prepare the materials we'll need. Five rolls of plaster of Paris with a 20 centimeter width, cotton paddings, elastic bandages, and a bucket of warm water. The patient lies down comfortably with the affected leg supported. Inspect the leg for any wounds before proceeding with the slab applications. We begin by rolling the padding just below the groin line twice to establish a secure base. As we continue towards the foot, we overlap each layer by 50%, ensuring that the cotton is applied twice for uniform coverage. We may apply additional padding over bony prominences like the knee and ankle. This technique helps prevent the risk of pressure sores. The padding should extend from the groin line to just beyond the metatarsal heads. We then measure the distance from below the groin until the metatarsal heads and prepare 12 to 16 layers of plaster of the same length. We then wet the slab in warm water and wring out any excess water. The slab should be 20 centimeters wide to cover two thirds of the circumference of the leg. Any air bubbles are molded out of the slab. We position the slab on the back of the leg below the groin line to just before the metatarsal heads. Then we start wrapping the bandage, making sure to wrap it snugly but not too tight. Each roll overlaps 50% of the previous roll until the slab is covered. We then fold the ends of the padding over the slab ends, finally check the slab for comfort and alignment. We push the ankle back in neutral position or slight dorsiflexion until the slab hardens completely so no equinus occurs. We must ensure the patient has no areas of excessive tightness. We verify that the patient can wiggle their toes and can flex their hip and that there is good circulation to the toes. Now to remove the splint, we first confirm the location of the back slab. Here it is positioned posteriorly. With this in mind, we begin by carefully cutting from the opposite, anterior side, using a pair of scissors. We proceed to slice through the bandage layer by layer, ensuring each incision is controlled and precise. This gradual removal method allows us to peel away the layers safely. Once all layers have been removed, we perform a thorough inspection of the area to check for any signs of irritation or complications.